what's up guys, CP Modder here, back with another video, and today we're back with another installment to our simple guide of series of back to the basics of installing PC hardware. And today, we're taking a look at how to simply install a GPU. Now, modern computer hardware these days is pretty easy to install, however, it's good to just sort of have a simple guide in installing a GPU. Now, just like all of our other videos, we're not really going to be focusing on how to pick a GPU or what a GPU does or sort of anything like that. Today we're really just focusing on how to install the hardware without really doing any damage to the rest of your system. Maybe you're not the most tech savvy person but still want to do an, an upgrade to your GPU, well this video is going to be perfect for you. So first off, before we even get started with this, we will need to make sure we are working in a safe anti-static environment. Make sure that you're not on any carpet and make sure you're not wearing any socks or a jumper that is known to sort of get a whole bunch of static charges and also to make sure you're wearing an anti-static static wristband. However, if you don't have one, don't worry, uh, you can go ahead and just touch the metal on your power supply, provided the power supply is actually plugged in with an earth plug on it, uh, and you'll be all good to go right here. Do keep in mind, you can touch the PC case, but that's always not so good. I generally like to touch the actual power supply. No, you will not get electrocuted by touching the power supply itself. Now, once we've gone ahead and done that, we can go ahead and grab our GPU. And first off, we need to figure out where in the computer it goes. If you're using a standard ATX system, then it's pretty simple. It's going to go right here. However, if you have a pre-built system from Dell, HP, Acer, Lenovo, anyone like that, there are some situations where PCI Express slots are kind of all over the place. They might be up on the side or moved around a little bit, but generally speaking, they will be relatively close to the actual motherboard. In most cases, you'll have multiple slots and it'll be pretty easy to work out that area. And they're also too labeled on the actual motherboard itself. So once we've located that, we'll want to observe the PCIe bracket. Now this is usually the silver bit at the end of the card where the display outputs are. And this will show us how many slots wide this card is so we can make sure we have the compatibility with our case. Now, in most cases, the actual box will actually say how many slots it is, but it's always good to double check right here. So in our case, we can see that this card is a two slot card, thanks to the fact that it has two of these little uh, forky bits, basically the PCI Express slot is two slots wide. However, this one right here is just one slot wide, so we can go ahead and use just a one slot design. Now in modern days, we are seeing even bigger cards like three and in some cases four slot designs. So do keep in mind, if you have a bigger card, we'll need to have more space inside of our cases. Now the actual slot spacings are a universal standard. No matter what company, no matter what motherboard, no matter what PC, we'll all have the the same spacing on their PCI Express slots. There are exceptions of super old computers before PCI Express really became a standard, but chances are if you're looking at upgrading one of those computers, you're probably not buying something super modern and you probably know what you're doing. Anyway, for today's example, we have a two slot GTX 1080 Ti to install into our X99 motherboard. Now that we've gone ahead and figured out how many slots, we also do need to look at the PCIe interface. Now all video cards today come out with a 16X physical slot, meaning that the connector is the same length from the lowest end parts to the highest end parts. But I did say physical because electrical is a whole different story. On our motherboard right here, for our example, we have a GTX 1080 Ti that uses a 16x physical slot and a 16x electrical slot, meaning that the slot itself is 16x physically big, but also two, the pins inside are all there and they're all electrically wired up. If you look at this particular picture right here, we can see that the PCI Express slot is 16x, but there's no contact pads, so it's really not doing what the 16x slot does. If your card stops partway through or just doesn't have all the contact pads, it might be something like an 8x electrical card which will still fit into 16x, but it works electrically at 8x. Again, a little bit outside the scope for this video. But once we've gone ahead and worked that out, we can start to line things up. We can make sure that the bracket is facing outward. And if we've got any actual covers on there, we can pull them off, obviously. And then once we've gone ahead and lined up our PCI Express slot, we'll place our thumbs here and also to here. And then we can push our card in and we'll hear this click. 
Then once we've gone ahead and done that, we will also do want to plug in any extra power cables. In some cases, our video cards will need external power. However, some smaller and lower end cards don't need external power, so you just won't need to do that. To work out what you need, check with the instruction manual. Some of them are eight pin, some of them are six pin. It kind of just depends on what card you do have right here. Then finally, we're going to screw in our PCI Express brackets with this bolt right here and right here. If you've got a three slot card, you'll need to do three screws up. And if you've only got a one slot card, Card you need to do one up kind of makes sense right there but that's about it what we can do right now is boot up the system and jump over to the Nvidia or AMD driver pages to download the latest drivers if you are upgrading your system from an older graphics card I do recommend running a tool like display driver uninstaller or DDU which will help to get rid of any old drivers that could cause incompatibilities down the line and just give you a really big headache but there we go that is how to install a GPU in your system Figure out how big the card is, line it up with the slot, push it into the slot making sure you hear those clicks, do up the screws, install the software, and you are good to go. Guys, that being said, if you want to find a 1080 Ti, I'll leave them linked down in that description box, or if you want to find a little bit more budget-friendly video card, I'll also to leave them linked down in that description box. If you want to check out more of these series, I'll leave a playlist linked down below, but make a suggestion, what do you want to see in our basic series of install guides? Guys, thanks for watching, I'll catch you all in the next one.